Hello, Front Porch Art friends, and welcome to our lesson on making a colorful coral reef. This project is so much fun, and it actually involves a couple of projects. We have our making a coral reef, and then we have this stencil, kind of a pattern that came with Model Magic to make some fun sea creatures. So I think the first thing we'll do is make the actual coral reef, and then we'll add our sea creatures. So you can do this in a couple of different stages. You could do this part now and maybe come back another day when you're looking for something to do to make your sea creatures. Okay, so pull out your foam base and then your kit came with these fun, colorful pipe cleaners. And in the instructions, it says to use nail clippers to cut them in half. So you can do that yourself or you can get an adult to help you. So I'm gonna grab some nail clippers just like this and I'm gonna kind of just go in the middle of the pipe cleaner and just clip it. That's how easy they cut. Don't use scissors, it's really hard to cut this because it has a wire inside. It's really hard to cut it with scissors, but works great with nail clippers. And you can cut these to different lengths, so maybe I'll cut this one into three pieces. So you get the idea. So just cut them up into pieces, half, or you can turn them into three pieces, whatever you would like to do to make different heights for your sea coral. Okay, so I'm gonna start by just, because it's wire on one end, you wanna be careful, it's a little bit sharp, but it also allows you to just kind of gently press it into the foam like that. And then you can take this end and curl it a little bit. The other thing you can do is take a pencil and kind of wrap it around the pencil and slide it off and you have a little curly. I'm gonna do that with some of them. And you're just kind of randomly putting them into the foam, making your own design. And again, you can do this all by yourself or if you need help, ask an adult to help you. Maybe someone needs to help you with this part, curling it around a pencil. And this is kind of fun because it doesn't really matter which way they go. You're just having fun and making it colorful. Just like under the water, if you've ever gone snorkeling, there's just all kinds of plants down there and they all look different. So I'm just kind of, just stick that one in like that and just maybe bend it a little bit. I like to bend them all a little bit because they are sharp at the end, so they're not sticking up. See, again, I'm just curling them around, sticking them in. That's all. Maybe make some bend out. Like that. It's a fun thing to do. It's very relaxing. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Just like when you plant something, you never know how it's going to grow. Okay. Just add these last few ones. You can even curl them around your finger if you don't have a pencil handy. See, I'm just curling them around my finger. Make smaller ones. Okay, I think I'm liking how crazy and funky that looks. All right, what do you think? <clears throat> All right, now this came with, your kit came with a piece of paper like this. This is going to go around the base and look like water. So we kind of cover that, that white foam base. You'll see a nice little water wave. And to attach this, you use the glue sticks, I'm um, sorry, the glue dots that came in your kit. They're just on a strip like this. And if you peel one side off, you'll see that it has glue dots underneath. They're kind of hard to see. 
So all you want to do is kind of take the paper and press them and pull up all along the strip. Press them and pull up. You can also just use standard glue if you don't want to use these glue dots if you have some at your home. And I'm just going to go all around. Make sure I get them all on here. There we go. And then once I have my glue dots on, I can go around the base of my foam and just gently put it on there and I know it'll stick because these are really sticky. See, easy. With um, actual glue, you might have to hold it a little while or wait for it to dry. It'll still work, but it'll just take a little bit longer. So try to use the glue dots that came with your kit if you want to. Okay, so that looks looking good, I like it. Now the other thing that came is um, a little bit of seaweed. So we're gonna go ahead and again, you don't need glue, but if you want, you could put a little glue in here. Did not come in your kit because you don't actually have to put it down, but you can if you want this to stay in more permanently. But honestly, I just take it, open the little bag up. It's a little tricky. Your little fingers are probably better at this than mine. Okay, gonna get some out. You don't have to use all of it, just kind of place a little bit inside. Just kind of covering those white areas so it looks more realistic. Just getting some inside. It's kind of fun to play with too. So see, there you go. Just put some inside. Starting to look like something you really, really might see under the water. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe off a little excess seaweed. <clears throat> Maybe I'll save a little bit for later if I wanna add more. And so now basically this part is done. And the next part is to go ahead and make some sea creatures that live underneath the water. And you can make your own sea creatures out of the model magic. You can make little fish, starfish, Whatever you want, I we included this so that you would have a pattern that you can follow if you needed to. And the way you use this pattern is you take your model magic, which you have a whole bag, so it's plenty to make multiple, kind of break it into pieces. Probably don't even need a piece this big. And then you kind of push it down into the shape of the sea star. So I'm gonna take my piece here and just start to mold it into the shape that I have in front of me. And then peel it off. That one's kind of a mess, so I'm going to redo that one. I think I have too much clay in my hands. So you don't need much to make the little sea star. So let's try that one again. And then we'll add, add the little arms on the side. So you're just using it kind of just to give you an idea of what the shape is. And of course, everyone's will look different, including mine from yours. And then I'm going to peel it off. Maybe reshape it a little bit. And then you can let it dry. If you let it dry, it's a little bit easier to paint. So I'm going to let mine dry for a little while. And then I'm going to make a fish. Put him over to the side. And the fish is a little easy. You can just shape like an oval with your model magic, just like that. Already looks like a fish. And then if I want it to look more like a fish, I can just add a little tail, right? Just pinch on a little tail. And again, there is a shape here you can follow if you'd like to. Kind of mold this together. The nice thing about model magic is you, it's very moldable. You can start all over, roll it into a ball. Go ahead and make your fish. Maybe I'll make one that looks a little bit like a goldfish. 
like a little goldfish. And then you can make the seahorse is probably the hardest one, right? So you can practice that. Although if you look at the shape of a seahorse, it's really not that hard. So you're just gonna follow along the contour of the body, maybe curling the tail a little bit to make your seahorse. Kind of like that. Again, none of these have to look perfect. They're all your creations. So whatever you'd like to make, maybe you want to make an octopus or different kinds of fish that you see under the sea, that's up to you. And once they're dry, I'm gonna put these aside to dry, you can get out your watercolor paints and have fun painting them. Here's one I painted earlier. See, it's just a tiny little fish I made out of Model Magic. I'm gonna put him right in my, maybe he's hiding, because that's like what coral is, reefs are used for, fish hide in them from predators. So he's hiding in there. And then I have a little starfish I made earlier watercolor painted that put that one in there and then I have my little seahorse put that in there and you can just fill up your entire coral reef with fun little creations that you made and colored and watercolor painted so again you can do this in two steps make your coral reef come back later when these are dry and paint them and then add them on and we'd love to see pictures of your coral reef when you're done. If you could send them to us at Front Porch Art Kits, we'll take a look and load them onto our Instagram and Facebook pages. Thanks. Hope you enjoy this.